Oh my god. I'm still sleepy, y'all. So, first of all, how are you guys? guys so we have good news today and we have bad news today which one y'all want first Tell me. Which one do y'all want first? The good news or the bad news? The bad damn. I can't even get y'all to go on this phone holder. Y'all want the bad news first? Okay, so the bad news is the videographer accidentally deleted all of my footage. And so the music video that I just shot, I have to reshoot it today. But no worries. Because of this, he is giving me two free videos in exchange for this error. So, yeah. Yeah. So, you yeah. know. And when do you have to be prepared to redo? Today. <laughs> today. I ain't gonna lie, I sleep don't wanna do it today. I really don't feel like it, but I don't wanna be <sighs> taking my time getting it fixed because I take too long getting it finished, and now my shit and got lost in the weed, in the wind. So just put a little moisturizer on my face. It's really sad because I just woke up at two o'clock. I stayed up all night. With my mind going haywire. My mind going haywire. On my next business venture. Because. I've really been sitting around. Like I've really been over here going in a. Small little panic. Like to myself. Because y'all know I'm like a huge overthinker. But I've been over here going into panic. I need some allergy medicine for real. I've been over here going into panic because... I've been trying to figure out what my business move going to be like. Because y'all know at first I was doing the food. It's like everything I try or thought about trying, something comes. Excuse me, y'all. I'm going to have to find me something because it's like the makeup makes me sneeze even more and there's nothing in there. So, um... Yeah, y'all know I'm going to do the food truck thing. 
then I got to thinking about it even more. Like, I really got to have some place to store the truck. And I'm already staying. I'm already parked in the driveway here. So, I got to find some energy medicine. Let's find some energy medicine. I'm like, I'm already parked in the driveway here. And I don't want to have another big ass truck in the yard. I think I need to make that type of move when, whenever I do move to my own space, or be able to at least have some type of storage for it. What the fuck is with that medicine? Um, it's cause oh my god, how am I gonna do this makeup when I can't stop sneezing? Lord have mercy. Yeah. So, um, so y'all know I've been trying to figure out <clears throat> my next business venture. So I was talking to, no, I haven't been smoking any cigarettes. I have been still vaping. Um, my daughter now y'all know i told y'all before me and my son stopped talking before we had the issue i tried to purchase him a tow truck and he didn't want the tow truck right i tried to get the food truck for carlos we had an issue with the food truck um I'm still trying to figure out what direction Jeremiah is going in because at first Jeremiah was coming like, sorry you guys if I keep shaking. If Jeremiah was coming like he really wanted to do the t-shirts, but and he got a presser. He got this huge ass printer. Oh my God, I can't even breathe. So like now I really don't know where to go with him so right now i have decided to focus on my girls and not Carlos, but my other two i think i am going and this is the good news i think no he hasn't been doing the shirts i think i'm going i'm gonna tell him we're gonna do this video tomorrow y'all because i can't stop fucking sneezing I ain't doing it today. Uh, I need some medicine. I ain't doing it today. I just woke up. I ain't doing this shit. <clears throat> but, um... What happened to say? Right now, Markayla has graduated from high school. Adriana will be graduating next month. And one thing I love about Adriana is she is very prompt. This is a child that I have not gotten behind. Her, the twins, period, really. This is a, a child that I haven't gotten behind. Her and Moon Pie. And like I asked Moon Pie, what's her thing? And you know, Moon Pie is really great with, you know, the wig installation. She's really great with doing the, um... I'm trying to put that somewhere where y'all can see me. She's really great. We're doing. Oh. It's burning. She's really great with doing the wigs. So. I have decided. To launch a hair business. For them. Like I'm going to participate in the beginning. But I think I'm just going to stay. I'm just going to help them get it off of the ground. And learn the ins and outs of it with them. Like invest in it behind them. And then um, once it gets so big. I think I'm going to just let them have it. And then go to the next kid and see. How can I get them off the ground with whatever it is that, that they want to do? So I'm going to just go from child to child. And mm. I'm sorry, you guys. So um, I got some Benadryl, but Benadryl make me go to sleep. 
and I don't want to go to sleep. So that's what I was doing last night. Last night I was up all night looking for vendors, looking for the best price, like doing my research because y'all know anytime I decide that I'm going to try something, I try it right then and there. Y'all know I don't wait. I don't, um, yeah, moon, but yeah, I think moon pot shit too. Um, I don't wait. I, I, when I believe in something, when I see something has potential, y'all know I like to dive right in. My only thing with me is y'all know I like to get into a lot of different things and then I lose interest. I lose interest, interest in it very quickly. So I'm hoping that by the girls being excited, this business venture will have my attention a little bit longer. Yes, Markayla is a braider. Yeah, she's a braider. Yeah, we we have an allergy issues today. And then when I put that makeup on, that makeup be making me sneeze and sniffle and stuff too. So, um, yeah, I I went up. I looked up some ventures. I mean, I looked up some vendors, and I just told them that I'm just gonna let them, you know, piggyback off me. And so this is a side hustle that I'm trying. Um, we're gonna do wigs. We're gonna do wigs. Yeah, we're going to do wigs. So, so far, um, I found a vendor. What's this? I found a vendor um, that I really, really like. Yeah. Um, I found a vendor that I really, really like. And I really like the quality of their product. Let me show you guys. And so I've already invested in my first um, set of wigs. Um, but I did tell the girls, even though I am starting off this business for you guys, you still have to invest in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not finna just buy every single thing. Because I feel like if I buy every single thing and then they just hop on board, I feel like they're not going to take it serious. I feel like if they have to put some of their own money into it then i feel like they would be more dedicated more committed because now some of their money is invested in invested mean like i'm not making them buy no hair or nothing but i am making them purchase like their own mannequins i am um requiring them to make sure they you know continue to educate themselves like and when i say educate themselves like it's really something as simple as just watching like youtube videos because you really can pick up like y'all will not believe how much money i have made off of hustles that i have just basically taught myself <clears throat> excuse me off of youtube like you can really make money and i know y'all get time talking about, about, about talking about money but you can really make money off of um by a lot of things that you can just really self-teach your shit i mean self-teach yourself off of youtube excuse me <clears throat> Oh my god. Yeah, my allergies are really bad. Um, I'm like I'm finna have to take a Benadryl, but I don't want to go to sleep. But um yeah, YouTube, you said you YouTube University grad, right? So you can really learn like a lot of people be trying to sell you stuff, ebooks and how to do this and how to do that. I promise you it's the the way to it is it's it's a way to learn how to do the shit on youtube whatever it is you've been thinking about doing you can do it and learn how to do it on youtube so um that's and y'all know that's that's what i did i went straight to youtube wanting to know you know the difference between raw hair and virgin hair and you know um listen to a, i listen to a lot of other people's testimonies about how did they start um you know get into the hair business and this and this so i just i'm now i'm right now what i'm doing is my research I'm just consuming all this information for the next week or two. I'm finna just be on YouTube. I'm finna be on Google. I'm finna be, you know, I'm I'm finna really teach myself how to be prosperous in this business. And 
I can't be the only one doing that. So now I'm telling my girls, okay, y'all, y'all, we finna do this, we finna do that. Y'all are required. They are required to watch a minimum of three YouTube tutorials on something pertaining to this business every day. Meaning it could be something as simple as how to pluck a wig, how to color a wig, um, how to package a wig, um, how to start a wig business, um, how to find hair benders or how, you know, it, 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 it could be something you already know how to do. One thing. Ed education is key to any type of hustle that you are trying to get yourself into. Even if you feel like you have the master and you can't okay, nobody show you nothing, you already it's not a good way to feel. You know, I mean, you you want to always feel like there's always space for growth. There's always space for growth, okay? So, um I had some loratadine. Um and that's what I was telling them like even though you may feel like you you already good at coloring. Still watch coloring videos. You know what I'm saying? Still watch coloring videos because there may be another technique in there that you didn't know existed, or you would have never thought about trying. You know, or they can make your process smoother or easier or quicker. Or you know, so um, I'm finna turn these girls into some motherfucking bosses, man. That's just point blank period. I'm finna turn their ass into some bosses. Now I'm not saying this has to be their lifelong dream. But what I am doing is teaching them the art of hustle, teaching them the, the steps to the to hustling and um, just make it to where they got something to fall back on, something that they, you know, maybe they could just make enough money to really invest in whatever it is they really want to do. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, but I'm willing to try it. So, so far, um, this is my first vendor. I, just, I don't be telling y'all everything. Um this is one of my first vendors this right here i really like this wig i guess the reason why i really like this wig because it made me think of glorilla because you know glorilla always wear these 40 inch bust downs she always wearing these 40 inch bust downs and look at that look at that lace y'all can y'all even see yeah yeah, so that's my first vendor. I'm excited about this vendor. Let me play that video for y'all one more again. Have you watched your videos for today? Yeah. Start learning how to plant your own foods. You watch your video for today? Yeah. Y'all trying to watch her videos? Really, really, today count because you told me today. Yeah, but still, keep what, keep for the education. Yeah, I really like this one though. This is one of my. This is a forty inch. This is a forty inch. It's a forty inch. It's a thirteen by six girl. Yes, I like this. It can come style if you want to pre plug, pre bleach everything that you need. We're gonna yes. do it for you. Yes. Have y'all already found y'all mannequins and stuff? Yeah. And ring light. I'm getting a backdrop. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting a backdrop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now you can play with us. I don't say she want to do a rainbow wig. <laughs> I want to do, <laughs> do an ombre green wig and mm -hmm. an ombre pink wig. Okay. Yeah, so. We're excited. I'm glad y'all excited. I'm excited. I think I think y'all gonna do really, really, really well with that what about the boys what would their hustle be like i said i tried to get my son a tow truck he didn't want i i whatever he, I, I i'm i'm not even gonna speak on it but far as the boys go jeremiah i tried to inv i invested in him first out of all my children with um the clothes the clothes with the, with the shirt presser and all of that but Right now, Jeremiah is what fourteen. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah is fourteen. Carlos is thirteen. Adriana is eighteen. Moon Pie is about to be eighteen. They are graduating away from high school, so um, I'm going to focus on one thing at a time, one child at a time. Right now, they are getting prepared for the world. The other ones, I ain't gonna say they got more time, but they got more time. 
you know what I'm saying, to figure out where they belong and what it is that they want to do. Which I still plan on doing Carla's, um, helping Carla's get into the, her cooking field this summer. I still plan on helping her with that. So, like I said, one business venture at a time. I'm just one person. Oh my God, you I'm just... Yeah. Yeah, I'm just one person. So, I, I, it's not all going to just happen overnight. But we're going to see how it goes. Oh, my God. I ain't going to make it go to this video shoot. My allergies are messing me really bad today. And I got to find something to take. I probably need to go to the store and give me some Claritin or something. Because when I put that makeup on, that makeup make me sneeze, sniffle. You do that so can't hear it. He needs to leave. <laughs> That's what it is, y'all. Earl, anytime Earl come around, I sneeze real bad. And I think he been sleeping over here. So, yeah, I'm really excited about that. Y'all be on the lookout for that. I'm excited to see how this one go. I'm so ready because I just know that I just feel that I feel like it's gonna be so good. Wait, wait, let me let y'all see how she look while she talks. Say that again. Oh snap. Wait, y'all, I gotta think. Can I say it one more time? I just feel like it's gonna be so good. I just feel like it's gonna be successful. I can see people buying my wig now. You can see people buying your wig. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get that lime green, cut me at lime green right now. <laughs> Cherry blossom pink. Okay. All right, you can get it. <laughs> Girl, you put that by yourself. I did. I and can't wait to see. see. I can't wait to see how y'all decorate y'all uh, mannequins. The one I got, I'm going to show you. Yeah, let's see what you got. What? Okay. All right. Not cherry blossom. I need you to help me put these clothes. Y'all been putting my clothes in totes. Because I'm going to put some of this shit outside. Yeah, I'm going to put this shit outside. I said, Jeremiah, you got a towel overnight. I see me. I guess they can. Yeah. This is her bad girl right here. Oh my God. Who's this? What? Little George Washington right here. Let me get this. What? This is a little Okay. I like the way she looks. And I got her because her makeup don't look too too light. So You're not going to do her makeup? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it ain't got no big wild color on there. So, we can change and put it on top of it. Like, it's other ones. Let me see. What you paying for your um mannequin head thing? Did you find your thing that you're going to style on? Yeah, you sent me the one. For the one. For the Okay, but I have a lot of product. I like her though, too. Let me see her again. Oh, she only $50. Yep, she don't look bad either. Because the ones I seen was like $68. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to get her some of this. Because she's Everything gonna work out. I think y'all gonna help me remain some keep some positive energy. How can you not have positive energy without a bust down for this? <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes me happy. Hey, a bust down. How can you not have positive energy over a 40 inch bust down? <laughs> it's like it's when I see weeds like that though, I think of Glorilla. Yes, because you know, that's all she wears. Yes, all her weeds be long. Everybody want that now. Like, yeah, because it's so strange. Want that. And then once we start making all this money, you ain't never going to catch me without a bus down. Oh, <laughs> Are you still thinking about wrapping your car? I hope so, because I know you can do it. I want to still wrap my own stuff, but I'm going to tell y'all what I did. And I wasn't going to tell y'all. And I still don't want to tell y'all. <laughs> But oh, I know what you mean. I kinda I kinda burnt up the clutch a little bit. So yeah. Yeah.
I kind of burnt up the clutch. She kind of burnt the clutch. Not all the way, y'all. It's a little bit. Yeah, so I took the car. I took the truck to my friend. Asked him how much he would charge me to replace the clutch. And I was told a thousand dollars to replace the clutch. And he said, that's only for labor. That's not even including my parts. Mm. So I went to my father and told my father about my friend told me a thousand dollars to fix his clutch. He was able to find me another man that's able to fix my clutch for $150. And he won't be back until this weekend. So. I was really hoping one of y'all was going to tell me if this sounded about right or not. That's not uncommon with your first. I did that on my first. Yeah, I, I and it's so messed up because I just knew I was doing it good. I just knew I was shifting my. I was like, okay, I'm shifting, but yeah, that's a big difference, Gia. That's a big difference. No, that ain't even including the part toy. You, the part ain't the problem. This the the clutch ain't high. So it's like I haven't been talking about my truck because I didn't want to tell y'all that I burnt out my clutch. I burnt the clutch up. Yeah, when I burnt my clutch out in my car, it was only a hundred and some dollars. Yeah. When people no, I ain't gonna talk about it. I ain't gonna talk about it. I ain't gonna talk about it because it's my friend. I ain't gonna say nothing. Well, I, th I thought that was my friend, but I ain't gonna say nothing. I'ma say it. <laughs> I'ma say it. When motherfuckers feel like you got some money, they trying to figure out a way to get some. Since I've been back in the city, I have had three friends to show me a different side of them. Since I've been here. And it's really bothersome. It's really bothersome to me. But I ain't, like I said, I'm not, I'm not going to go into debt because I don't want, I mean, into depth because I don't want to point no fingers. I don't want to seem like I'm talking about nobody. But all I'm going to say is, I'm just at a point in my life. Where I'm just focused on me and my kids. I don't want no fucking friends. I don't want no fucking friends. Fuck a friend. I want new, I want new friends. All my old friends, I don't want their ass no more. I don't want their ass no more. I want some I want some friends that I can get some money with. I want some friends that got some business ventures for me with some investment opportunities or ideas and shit for me. I'm tired of all my motherfucking friends being friends that takes, that needs. I'm, I'm sick of that. And that's what it seems like I have. I have a lot of friends that takes and needs and don't. Mm, I don't want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about this shit. I don't even want to talk about this shit. Like I said, I'm not even going to let myself go into that realm of that energy. Because I wish everyone well, but... The way I'm moving right now, where I'm at right now, right now I'm really big on getting ready for my surgery. I'm really big on what I'm about to do with my teeth. Really big on my skincare. Really big on um, how can I 
help my children grow in 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 every aspect every way um like i said investing in them like when i decided that i was going to go with this wig stuff this hair business i have already invested like five thousand dollars into in, into this and seeing at least a twenty thousand dollar profit you know what i'm saying like i i'm i'm if i'm gonna drop some money it gotta make sense i ain't finna just spend money or throw money or give money and do shit with money just because i can you see what i'm saying uh, that's, that's not my plan could i have given a thousand dollars and got that clutch fixed yes i could have but am i finna do it hell no It didn't even sound right. It didn't even feel right. What? A thousand dollars? What the fuck? I ain't get no motor put in, bitch. You know? Okay, let me let me get off of this. Uh, let me get off of this. But I'm just saying, that's what you pay for a motor. That's what you pay for a transmission. Mm. I'm so crazy. A fucking chair. Ain't you no goddamn motor put in. How? What you think? Anyway. But anyway, like I said, I ain't finna, I ain't, I ain't bashing about it. I'm just saying, like, it just makes me feel some type of way. I just, I just, uh, I be trying to grow with people and want to. I just learn. I just figure. I just, I'm gonna have to stand alone on this one. I'm gonna have to stand alone on on, on this one. I'm finna go on ahead and glow up. I'm finna go on glow up. I'm finna go on focus on my music. I'm finna, um, like I said, keep fit, finding ways to better myself. Um, find ways to better my children. Find ways to better my the way I live. Like, like I said, I got these totes right now. I'm I'm really downsized. I'm like I'm really tired of my trailer. My trailer being cluttered all the time. Like I have my winter stuff over there packed down. I'm trying to make space for stuff outside. Don't look at them St. Patrick's Day decorations, y'all, because they still up. But um, yeah, like I even went and bought me some 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 better tiles, bitch. That's why I'm at. Like I'm really all bettering me, bettering my life, bettering my my family, bettering. And like I said, I gotta get out of the mind frame of constantly want to take motherfuckers with me. They can't go, and that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Because I got to remember who I am. That's why y'all been seeing me drop a lot of my old stuff. Because I was walking up to people. And people be, well, people walk up to me and be like, you know, Blaine, your song really helped me with this. Your music really helped me get through that. And I had to go back and listen to myself. Because I need to hear that person that you hear. I need to see that person that you see. Because I'm, I, I, I wasn't doing it. I wasn't being her. I wasn't. What's wrong I don't even want to talk about that shit. I don't know what's wrong with it. What's wrong with what? What's wrong with you? You lady lady. I don't know. I be tripping. I really be tripping. You be out here bugging. You don't know who you That's crazy. I don't even know who I am. Acting like I don't know who I am. I don't who I am. Know anyway. Who you is. <clears throat> but yeah. So. Girl, just. You gotta that's why I really been. Playing in my hair, playing with my makeup. You better come back from Miami. You know, find out out different ways to organize this and better this and better that. Yeah, we finna we finna go on boss up, bro. I'm already bossed up, but I'm finna go to a whole nother level with this shit. Real talk, I'm I'm finna go and go to. I'm really thinking about go ahead and flying to another country and go and get all my shit in here. Yes. Gone, gone. <laughs> These go all the way. Yeah, I'm finna, I think I'm finna just go ahead and just go and get my shit icy white and go straight across all the way to the top at the bottom. We'll go ahead, get my ass, make sure this ass can clap. Finna we'll go ahead. I've been hitting the gym. Bag. That's what I'm saying. We finna go to Miami. You know what I'm saying? I already paid for my trip to Miami. I already paid for our flights, our hotel, our like everything. only thing I got left to get is the Faha. That's what it's called, right? Yeah, Faha. The and rental? the massage. I gotta pay for my massages. The rental? What you say? No, you I ain't got the rental. I need a rental. I need a van. Girl, like, 
excited. Because of your book, because of your book, I got I have come up with my own synthetic weed, Caroline, and working on my LLC. I'm scared by another million dollar idea. Thank you, Wing, for the inspiration. Yes, yes, it is. And you know what? I show was um, I had found a I found a synthetic hair vendor last night too. I didn't even know they had synthetic hair. Cause um, you know a lot of people. Like synthetic wig. Yeah, I found a real nice synthetic wig vendor too. Why you ain't told me about that damn surgery, man? I'm trying to give me one. I thought everybody know about my surgery. My surgery is in June. I'm getting a tummy tuck and um a BBL and a lipo 360 on the side. Um, I still have to lose like I don't even know because I haven't even weighed myself. Lately, I just know I need to be slimming on down, but I have been going to the gym. I'm back going to the gym. I didn't go yesterday, but I'm gonna definitely go today. So yeah, I've been working out. I'm gonna have to start doing some little videos showing me working out in the gym and stuff like that. That's what I'm saying. You need to block all these moments. People want to see the truck. People want to see right. you work out. And it's like I had wanted to come on here and wanted to talk about all these different things that I had planned on doing and how I'm thinking and how I'm feeling. But I feel like I always come on here and I do so much talking. I feel like I be doing so much talking and I'm just at a point I'm tired of talking. I'm tired of sitting around having a conversation about shit. I'm trying to be about action. I'm trying to be about action. But I'm also trying to take my time too. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to take my time. I literally just started back, Miss Sandra. I just started back. It's gonna feel so good once you feel the first Baby, we're gonna sell out. How many we bought? I got 15 so far. Okay, 15. Yeah, That's 15. That's what I mean. When we sell the first 15, like, it's gonna feel so good. Yeah. Like, yeah, 15. We got 10, 10, 6, 13, and, and 5, five regular. regular. But the regular is all 40 inches. I got 540 inches. Okay. So. Because <laughs> baby, I was looking at the I was looking at the 40 inch. You know, I had, I had started going on all different little wig websites and looking at what they charge. And this lady had a 36 inch, three by I mean 13 by six, 250 density. And that motherfucker was eight hundred and twelve dollars. Yes, it'd be like that. I wish that girl still had her thing. Eight hundred and twelve dollars. But my thing is, that's a thirty-six inch. We got a forty inch. Same density, same. That's a thousand dollar wig. Okay. Exactly. And if you get to putting color slices and crinkles and crimps and all that, that take it up even more. Like I, I'm excited. I think y'all gonna do really, really well with this business. Yes. Weird, really, uh, really, 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 really well with this business. Like, I'm gonna be up on TikTok. I, I can just see me now up on TikTok with her. <laughs> Shaking <laughs> with her in my head. Hi, you bum. What do you want? Boo! See, you already. Who's talking about this in the comment? <laughs> Y'all arguing. Cause she always talking with me. No, I didn't. No, I did not. I said I want to see that new car. But I called you. You called me. I got to say, I want to say it in that way. Carla, she ain't picking up her car till tomorrow. He's supposed to be getting it today, but he's saying that the paint's still wet on it. He sent me a picture of it. Y'all don't see a picture of it. Mm -mm. Nice. It's a little Nissan Altima. I just got a drone of this little car right here, y'all. This little Nissan Altima 2012. It's in the paint shop right now. I just got her a little Nissan Altima fully loaded. Don't worry, Moon Pie. Yours coming next. Yours. No! Just, just go break them. Just get them. Yours coming next. That's going to be our first goal. Everybody's going to elevate. Everybody. Oh my God. Then don't you got a whole box of cards to any of I have not forgotten about you, Toya. Y'all, pack my pack. Move pack. 
Toya, <laughs> shit going out to Ma. <laughs> and you make sure if it's that's not. It is Shadow Collar. It's three more weeks. Shut up, Shadow Collar. That's her birthday. What's she waiting on? She waiting on their purse right there in a journal. Really? A journal? Shut up, Collar. Shadow Collar. She's toying. You waiting on. You is waiting, waiting on a journal. You waiting on a journal. Is that backwards? Call it under that. Ma'am, this is the camera. <laughs> Ma'am, I didn't see that for like two months now. <laughs> I don't think you can get any time soon. <laughs> Call it under that. I think you Call should, it out. I think you should leave a review on her real side. Call leave. Leave. She's very she's unprofessional. To you. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to them, to you. What's that? You're going out first thing. She is waiting on a journal. A journal? A journal. Oh, what you doing, Zach? Shut up! Toya! It's coming. It's I'm at the yeah, yeah. She's gonna give it out to tomorrow. Tomorrow. We dropping it out tomorrow. For sure. For sure. See, this is what we can't do in this week, bitch. Oh, we're not going to do that. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, we can't do that. Baby, I'm going to be dropping the weeds out of myself. Okay. Know, I already know what to do. Girl. Okay. Get, yeah, I'm going to show y'all. We got to drop it out. Send them out. Extra uh -huh. shipping feed. Wow. Nah, let me hit the baby one. I'm so excited. Like, I was just thinking about this. I was like, how, how, like, how did it even start? This what do you mean? Like, how did it even start? When I was thinking about the weed stuff, because, you know, I was telling you, I wanted the weed. I was going to just go in there and get the old weed. Do what I'm going to do and stay out there. Now we got brand new, but stay out there. So, yeah, they're going to make sure. They didn't talk to mommy so bad today. I'm going to make sure I take care of you. <laughs> I, I can't let that happen no more. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... The key right now is education. Anytime you decide to try any type of hustle, any type of business, any type of business venture, you want to educate yourself. Educate yourself. Educate yourself. Like I told you, even though you already fuck, you are fired fucking. Still watch fucking videos. I was. I was watching. Still watch right. coloring videos. Watch videos on how to de decorate your mannequin. Watch videos on how to make your packaging pretty. Watch videos on how to market. Market is marketing is so important to anything that you do, any type of business you decide to get in. You could have the best hair on the planet, but if your marketing skills ain't hitting on nothing, you will still have it. You. You can have the worst her in the world. And if your marketing skills is off the chain, that shit will sell out. Did you say you bought some trash ass glue? Yes. But she was making that shit seem like it was the fire. She was picking up microwaves with her hands and yes. shit. Oh my God, look at how amazing my glue is. And now she going viral. She constantly. You have to be like that. A Burger King commercial. Everybody know Burger King. Everybody know McDonald's. Everybody know Wendy's. Everybody know Netflix, Hulu. But every time a commercial come on, you still see a Whopper. You still see Netflix. You still see... Don't nobody know Markayla wigs and bundles. So they what know. the heck? They feel no. So what make you feel like you don't have to go just as hard as a billion dollar company that's known worldwide? Yeah. You got to be just like that. You got to stay in their face. You got to... Be consistent. Yeah. Be consistent. You got to be in them TikToks. You got to be on them shorts. You got to be doing them skits. You got to be going live and letting people watch you color. And you never know. You got to do lives. Like, I have the formula. Okay? <laughs> I have the formula. She said, Moon Pie, you can always resell weeds to the influencers. Do it, and you can too. Right. Right, so I think it's going to be a, a beautiful thing. I'm going to um, see what's going on. And then, I, I, like I said, I really like the packaging. That's what I'm saying. 
Like this vendor offered me the packaging. Then we sell the weed. We, huh. we gonna sell the weed. This gonna hit somebody big. Then they gonna be talking about how good our hair is. Then everybody gonna want to turn. What are you all starting a weed business or something? <laughs> Stop. Why is she like it? I don't like her. Stop. Don't do it. We gonna sell the weed. Then they gonna be talking about how good our hair is. Then everybody gonna want to turn. What are you all starting a weed business or something? Stop. Why is she like it? I don't like her. Stop. Don't do it. We sell the package. When is she gonna get it? Tomorrow. <laughs> Tell her. Tell her what's her name. What's her name? Tell you. Miss Toy, you will get your package tomorrow. <laughs> well, four, five, no, you get tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me know if she's on there. Huh? Let me see I showed you. Let me see. No. <laughs> she on, no. Why are you so trash? Yeah, that ain't nothing. Come on, Shella. No, how you see me? Have you seen mine? Ah! <laughs> Stop! Stop! Wait, hold on, let me see it. Let me see it. No, 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 please don't, don't get to her. Okay, don't get to her. Okay, okay, don't get to her. Don't get to her. Not to her. No. What? What? Where's her whopping? Give me her whopping for, for like three months. She still haven't changed. Hey. <laughs> You got an ugly no, picture. She had that, she had that ah. light skin monster on her thing going around telling people, this is my cousin. <laughs> this is my cousin. <laughs> it was yeah. like three weeks up, too. Yeah, we got a picture of Kyle's and Kyle's I want the world to see. Let me see him. Don't sell Mark Kelly. Don't sell Mark Kelly. I ain't even tell everybody except Mark Kelly. Tell me yeah. what. You ain't seen the picture. What? How about that? Kyle's picture. Show him with me. <laughs> I think I showed him. I want to say, you was like, this collar. No, I saw this a collar. Show him. Say, you did that stuff. Me and Jack. No, I sent it to you. I sent it to you, Carla. I I saw the picture. I zoomed in on the picture. El Carlos and screenshotted it and did so. I was gonna make it my wallpaper. What time video shoot? Let me see one. Okay. Ain't doing it. Yeah, and they are, and and that's another thing. They will be starting up their YouTube channels with this. That's what I was saying as far as them um, piggybacking off of me. I was gonna just make sure I include Sweet their links, cigarettes. give them shout outs. Um, you know, just to try to start sending some more traffic their way. That way, not only are they getting paid from their wigs, they're also making money from social media. Like, it's 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 working. Everything is working. Everything is going to work. And it's like, I be wanting to share with y'all because I know it's a lot of people out there that's trying to figure out what's my next hustle? How can I change my life? How can I get out of this situation? And, you know, you see a lot of people that come on here talking about, you know, how they made so much money doing this, made so much money doing that. And y'all have seen me try so many different things on you know different hustles trying to make money and i feel like i'm very transparent and i show you guys the ins and outs i show you my good i show you my bad because i want you guys to know that i'm just like you um um you know mother i have marital problems i have parenting issues i have problems with my kids i have success as well i have good news good days bad days i have days where i feel like i'm the prettiest motherfucker in the world i have days where my confidence is so low to where i don't even want to come outside some days you know what i'm saying so um i really like the fact that that i'm making it to where where you guys are able to see front row i feel like i need to believe in myself more though like i believe in myself but it's can you put my new lip gloss down <laughs> oh my god i believe in myself but it's like a roller coaster yeah by piggybacking um i feel like it's a roller coaster like some days i wake up i feel like i'm unstoppable i feel like i'm just her i'm just gonna you know just do some amazing dope shit. And then some days I wake up and I be like, who am I kidding? What was I thinking? Maybe I'm thinking too big. You know, it, I have those days to where it's like, a, it's a real battle with myself. So, like, I really focus on, you know, listening to positive 
um, books like The Power of Thinking Big and uh, The Laws of Attraction or The Secret. You know, I, I really listen to books every day. Every day. Like, even when I was at the gym the other day, instead of listening to music, I decided to work out and listen to The Power of Positive Thinking. So, yeah. I need to call this man and tell him I ain't doing this video shit today. I'm not doing this video shit today. I'm finna go to the gym. That's what I'm saying. I turn her off. We can't argue this. Yeah, we can go to the gym. Yeah, we can go to the gym. I'm ready to go work out. And, um, yeah. Yeah, you yeah, got so. Wish us luck on this next business venture. And as soon as our first box arrives, we will be going live for you guys to watch us open up our first order to check the wigs out, see how they're looking. <clears throat> Have you created a YouTube channel? Get the fuck out of here. And go create your YouTube channel right now. Hey. Has Adriana created her YouTube channel? I think she did. Okay. Y'all need to be focusing on it. The names of your channels. Go ahead and find some cute pictures for y'all YouTube channel. And when you're done, bring it to me. Let me see it. Okay. Don't talk to me no more today until you're done. All right. Unless you got a question. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. So once they get these YouTube channels up and going, I'm going to let y'all know what the channels are. And um, I'm going to go ahead and figure out what our next little skits and stuff going to be. So like I said, I don't want to, I don't, I want to let y'all know, but I don't want to give it all away. I want to, I want y'all to have something to look forward to. But at the same time, I do want y'all to know the recipe for the ones who are trying to get into some type of new side hustle. If you're trying to figure out how do I start, where do I go, what do I need to do, you know, how can I take this from being just a thought in my head to being a reality? You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. But I just, I want to believe in myself. And I, even though I don't want to do my video shoot, I still want to do my makeup. Like, I didn't realize how much my makeup really makes me happy now that I've been, you know, kind of like experimenting with it. Because, like, yesterday... I ain't gonna lie, I had a really, I had a really fucked up feeling. I had a strong feeling of guilt, but I also had a strong feeling of not giving a fuck. Because I hadn't planned on buying Adriana a car yesterday. That was not in my plan. That was not my intentions. But we was talking and she was telling me about how she was constantly calling her daddy, how she was constantly calling her grandparents on her father's side because they had been promising her a car. And <clears throat> she was like, now when I call, they don't even answer the phone for me. She's like, I'm constantly calling my granddad. I'm constantly calling. She's like, she's calling him, you know, four to five times a day. And he's just ignoring her phone call after he promised her this. And y'all know how I am. When it comes down to my kids, first of all, you not finna beg a motherfucker to give you shits. Fuck that hoe. Don't call his ass no more. Cause he's if you call him four and five times a day and he not answering the goddamn phone, he know what you calling for and he don't want to talk to you. So he told you he gonna get you this car here and he not gonna get you that car. Then she was saying how she was upset that she called her dad to come to her her prom shit. And this hoe didn't come to the prom thing. She he ain't gave her no explanation about. So I I went into my mommy mode. Fuck that hoe. I'll buy you a car today. We're gonna find you a car today. Cause it ain't hard to do. So I made the phone call. Asked my partner, what you got over there? In this price range. Da da da. I wind up getting that car for like thirty five hundred. Little cash car. He said fully loaded. Love to see some roof. I think he got like 150,000 miles on it. You know, just something for her to school boot around in. You know, because she don't like 
the Thunderbird. She don't like the car that she in now. Right now, the car she in now is like a 87. It's <laughs> she don't like the car. So, um, I'm like, nah, you ain't got to constantly find a motherfucker to, to buy you no car. I'll get you a car. You ain't, you ain't that serious. And then she does everything she's supposed to do, too. But what bothered me was buying her car and not buying my son a car. Like, I just did not... <laughs> I just did not expect things to be going the way they was they are going. I did not expect to do a prom when I only have one child. I didn't. Ex I really expected to surprise both of them with cars after graduation. And but then when I think every time I think about that day where this motherfucker told me, "You ain't no god." Basically, you ain't got to listen to me. I can't buy you a motherfucking thing. I can't buy you. I can't. I can't buy no motherfucker no shit like that. You think you gonna talk to me any kind of way? And, 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 and you ain't gotta listen to me. And I'm gonna buy your car. I can't do it. I can't buy you a car. But at the same time, I still feel bad because I didn't buy him a car. And I buy her a car. It's like <clears throat> it's it's a battle. It's it's a battle that I'm having with myself. I'm a DC braider and I'm working on my next movie plans with my hair thing, but don't want to speak on anything yet. I understand. Are they going to have a business YouTube or are they going to have separate channels with the business be, be in their name or your or yours? Well, right now, they are going to have their own separate YouTube. Are they going to have a business YouTube or are they going to have a separate channel? I don't understand what the business YouTube is. I don't understand what you're saying. I don't understand that question as far as what type of YouTube. And will the business be in their names or yours? Right now, the business is in my name. Reason why I the business, the business is in my name right now is because I am funding the business. But once I see that they are committed and they start to, you know, make profits off of the um, business, then I want them to branch off on their own. Just like now with the weed. Um, like I told them how I'm doing it with the wigs. If I, let's say I pay $20 for a wig. If I pay $20 for a wig and they sell the wig for $120, then all I want is the $20 and they can keep the hundred. Just put the money, just, just pay for the base pay. Just put the money back so we can keep ordering wigs. You see what I'm saying? I'm not... I'm not investing and looking for them to just do all this work and just make me all this money. No, it's not going to work like that because I plan on fucking with it too now because I ain't scared. Baby, I've been watching me some coloring videos. I've been watching me some how to cut baby hair videos. I ain't scared now. Y'all know I do a nail. I sell a plate. I, I try it. I tried now, so I plan on having my own wig sales too that ain't even got nothing to do with their wig sales. I plan on... It's, it's to me it's just more manpower i feel like i'm gonna have my wigs uh jordan's gonna have her wigs my cut is gonna have her wig i'm just investing to get it off of the ground so once they get the making they sell that they want to branch off into bundles if they want to branch off into adding press-ons and lashes or branch off and create their own name all of that is fine what i'm doing right now is just starting and just getting it off the ground yeah, I'm just getting it off the ground. Because right now, it's called Bling's Things. Meaning a business YouTube with things just concerning their product and things just concerning their business. No, I don't feel like the YouTube channel has to just be like that. I don't. Because just like now, <clears throat> I'm a, I'm a business. I don't know if I'm considered. I guess I'm, I don't know what type of YouTube I'm considered. But um, y'all see me do multiple things on here. Y'all see y'all seen me go from decorating purses to doing nails to traveling to... Um, like I said, making salads to um writing an ebook to shit. <clears throat> I do it, I do it all on this channel. I really think it's you I, I really think you probably like putting too much thought into it, honestly. Um Yeah, I think you put too much thought into it. Like if they decide they want to separate it and have one strictly focused on hair and one strictly first focus on like personal blog, vlogs and stuff like that they can get to that point to where they figure out how to separate it but right now my goal is to just get them to a point to where they have a channel and get them to level of monetization that has never been hard for me 
Y'all know I got Woods channel to be monetized. Helped him. Well, I didn't get. I can't say I took the credit for everybody's stuff, but I um helped him get monetized. I helped Revy um build her channel towards getting um monetized, and I'm gonna do the same thing with my kids. Like Carlos channel ain't even um far from from monetized. I just ain't even been on there. Who's disrespectful, Felicia? Well, can you please check check your text text line when you get off live? Okay, I know it's a constant battle, you know, when it comes to our children, Miss Bling. But don't beat yourself up about it, Mama. You're in right, right. You're right. Oh my God, what happened? You're right. No way in hell, kid or not, you're going to get anything from me. Right, being disrespectful. Right, I agree. Right. And that's how I feel. Like it's really bothering me because I'm I'm wondering because I already feel like this child think I don't love him. That's how I already feel. And so when I go and when he see the dad and went and got her a uh, car and ain't got him now, I feel like he gonna feel like yeah, I was right. She don't love me. That's the one that she loved. And then I'm but just like how I'm getting behind them trying to invest in something to help them get off the ground. I try to do the same with him. I tried to get him a tow truck but he don't he didn't want it I don't, I don't know what he like I don't even know what the fuck when we pick a tow truck I just picked it cause it just seems something, like something so easy just to pull up and cut hmm I don't know I don't know hmm I ain't gonna go into deep thought about it though. We ain't gonna worry about it. And it's like, but why I keep telling myself, don't worry about it? I sleep do though. One child's gonna always be a rebel. Yeah. I love you too. Yeah, so it's all good. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna bother. I am beating myself up though, cause it really bothers me. Like, it really bothers me, y'all. I'd be lying if I said it didn't, but it does. It bothers me every day, every single day. No, I haven't. I haven't talked to him. I'm tired of talking. I feel like talking is. I feel like talking is what got me here. Got me to this point. Like I said, I should have been knocked his motherfucking ass off. I, I, I ain't taking it back. I don't feel different. I don't want to talk about that. It, it fucks with my energy, y'all. I don't want to talk about that. Then I'm going to tell y'all something else that um kind of bothered me yesterday. I was in here doing my makeup, you know, playing in my makeup yesterday. And Elijah was outside playing. And I heard some kids out there taunting him. Calling him gay and shit. <clears throat> and it, it really makes me. It really makes me think of. 
how am I finna prepare my child for the world? Like, I'm not saying that Elijah is gay. I'm not saying it. Because right now, he's not, he not thinking about sexuality. But Elijah, if Elijah turns out to be gay, I wouldn't be surprised. You know? I wouldn't be surprised. And he choose that path. I just need to make sure... He can handle himself. I need to make sure he can handle himself. Why is it water in this? So that's my fear with that. I want to make sure Elijah can handle himself. So that's been a thing on my mind too. I just hope he ain't scared. I don't want him to be scared. I don't want him to be afraid to. I don't even want to talk about that either. Shit. I don't want to talk about that shit. My mom or dad couldn't really prepare me for how society is. It's a lot. Definitely young age. I was bullied a lot for being different. All my life I had to fight. No shade. That's what I'm saying, Trill. Like, hey, Trill, do you know? I started to call you. I swear to God. I I literally, I'm like, I hope Trill don't think I'm crazy. But I really started to call you because I wanted to ask you. Like, I, I don't want to talk about because the slick brings tears in my eyes because... I wanted to ask you, how do you know they they say you can you should let your child in this, you shouldn't let your child do that. You need to beat that motherfucking ass when you seeing it and seeing it. But I see who Elijah is. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I don't care. All I, I I I mamas, we know we know our children. I see what I see who Elijah is. And when he was standing out there and it was a lot of them, he was they was like slick surrounding him and shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't call him. I go out there. I was like, get the fuck away. I'm cussing him. Get the fuck away from over here. I'm like, Elijah, go in the house. But all I could think of. I think I'm still emotional too. Gonna think about my son too. But all I can think of is, I was standing here right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm standing here right now. What about when I'm not standing there? How is he finna deal with this shit? How is he finna handle this shit? What do I? T- what do I say? Cause you can't beat everybody ass. Just, just say something. You know what I'm saying? Like. And I see who he is. So, yeah, I started to call you Trio. Because I know he's going to deal with a lot of bullying. And, and, and uh, right, I'm not going to be around all the time. Which I, yeah, I don't want to talk about this shit. So, yeah, that, that really fucked with me. He will grow out of it. Yeah, I have to prep. I have. To, I'm gonna have to prepare him a little bit more. Thanks, apple cakes. I need to reduce on my edges.
It just made me stronger, and I protect the other guys' gays around me because I, when I was bullied, everyone just watched. Right, and that's the thing. I keep trying to tell him that these kids not his friends, and it's like he be wanting to play so bad. It's just like when a little boy asks a little boy asks if he could play football with Elijah, and his mama was like, "Hell no." Like, why? Why? Why, bitch? My baby is fucking seven years old, ho. He ain't think about... <sighs> do what I'm saying? If he, if he did want to do boy shit... You automatically assume... You see what I'm saying? It's... And, and that's, I think that's even more fucked up when it don't just come from the kids, you know, that's even more fucked up when it don't just come from the kids, it come from the, the, the parents as well. See what I'm saying? Now I'm ready to beat this bitch. fucking up his eyebrow. But I know I can't beat everybody who I can't beat everybody who feel the way they feel. But that's still that's still a child. And my child at that. How you know my baby didn't want to play football, bitch? So you doing your brows. Know what I'm saying? This whole automatically consumed. Not this eyebrow want to be perfect today. That's all right. I'm going to figure it out, though. I'm going to figure this shit out. Yeah, I'm going to have to teach me how to have a tough skin and not be bothered. <laughs> the video shoot, girl, he lost my footage and I got to reshoot it. Right. Yeah. So I've just been to myself, really, for real. Honestly, I've been to myself. I ain't even really been coming out for nothing. Like I said, I've really just been. I really just been sitting around trying to figure out what my next business move gonna be because like I don't know what just happened. Cause my um what is water coming out of this thing? What is that? Is this not the right concealer?
right now I've been having I've been doing like a lot of little spending here and there and so my main goal lately has been what's my next move is going what is what is my next move going to be for me to get some more money coming in why is water coming out of these i ain't never seen these is this not the one i had so that's why i'm really this um wig venture how do collars handle because some kids are just crew collars will beat your ass <laughs> collars will beat your ass collars will beat your ass up okay i don't have no problem with collars uh, all of the problems i have with collars is collars beating your ass that's the only problem i have about the collars real time Collins has been. I had to pick collars up three times from school. From be motherfuckers' ass. I don't have no problem about that one, at all. Real talk. I had to. I had to get on collars because collars will beat your ass, and you ain't even got to touch her. All oh, that they hit me. You hit me first. Collar hit first. I be like, Carla, what did she, what, she, what she do? Did she hit you? No, nah, she asked me what I'm gonna do about it, and now she colors on her ass. But I'm gonna tell you though, collars, a lot of collar fights come from her defending another child. Okay, he a little off in her class. And the girl was picking on him, trying to take his seat. And Carla said when she got the seat, she got up and told her that she finna move. And the girl said she ain't moving. Carla told her, you gonna give him his seat back. And she said she ain't giving him nothing. What it got to do with you? And for you know that her ass was getting drugged out into the hallway. Call him drug ass. You got to look at Carla. Damn, tall as me. Carla sm smacking chick chickens and making bell hope. Okay. <laughs> but Elijah is not confrontational. He not confrontational at all. He finna get away. He finna run off. He don't want to play no more. He finna. He ain't got that in him. I think this too dark. But yeah, he ain't got that in him. I don't know why I'm freezing. I don't know. I think this is old. Because now that I'm looking at this one, it's supposed to look like this one. I think the one I really use is missing. I don't think this one is as low, but I don't worry about it. Yeah, she's sweet, but she ain't going. And I had to tell her, Carl, you can't be about ass who say something wrong to you. Sometimes you gotta let her make it. Carl don't want it, don't even want to let her make it. It's freezing and choppy with my live. I don't know, y'all. I got it on the right, um, on the way right Wi Fi. Have you talked to Twin yet? No. 
No, I'm gonna just pray on it, Miss Brown. That's all I could do. Pray on it. That reel I posted. Yeah, that's one of my older songs. And it's crazy. That's what's making me want to do videos to bring my older songs back. Because that's just like yesterday I went to my daughter's job. And her boss was like, that new song you just dropped is fire. And I'm like, that song, five years old. That song is a part of my collection when I first came out into doing music. But, like I said, it's so many people in the world. Everything ain't been heard. Even me think of Lizzo. How, um... How Lizzo's song... She put it for like three years before it took off. So, I'm like, even though it's old to me, it's still new to somebody else. So that's why I'm doing a lot of videos to a lot of my older songs as well as my new songs. Because social media wasn't like it is now. I don't be knowing what I be doing in the creases. I don't be knowing if I'm supposed to go over there or not. Shit, I don't know. It's like the more I be adding this shit, the higher I start to go. I don't know. But yeah. Oh, yeah, it's raining. I don't know. He said somebody had took out his his card. Oh, my God. We just ran out of gas. Fuck. He said somebody took out the, the card. Some type of card. To, um... Do another video, and he wasn't sure if my footage was on there. Look at Big Baby over there, y'all. She going the opposite direction because that's how he was able to get her back up the road. Solar panels? No. Shit. We need gas. Let me go ahead and work this shit out of my knee. She ain't doing shit. Please. I need some. I need to give me some gas. Okay. 
I'm finna cash off you the money. Okay. Put yeah. in the house. She got my granddad. Oh, she got Okay. All right. Okay. Oh. Well, look, we got a pause on our makeup tutorial. As we wait for gas. Oh shit, I gotta see her the money. I could still, I could open up some curtains though. A little lot. So, Right. Don't forget to send these the money on. Here it is saying. So how y'all think the wig business gonna do? So like, okay, quick question. For my viewers, for my viewers that are that do wear wigs, what lengths and styles do you guys like? I just want to pay attention to the responses so I can kind of know what's probably going to be the best sellers. Thank you, son. No, I didn't. I didn't redo it. I just had this light over the um. Booth on. <clears throat> I am gonna have to take a Benadryl. I just like the blend. Damn, I just fucked up that eyebrow. I need a pencil sharpener for real. That's why I don't like these pencils that you have to sharpen. You said kinkish. 
Okay, you see. Two chairs, no table. <laughs> 22 through 28, kinky, straight, or body wave. Now, I love body wave. I believe it's going to do great if you're having the girls on your side with this as well. With this as well. Thank you. But I think kinky, straight is very popular. I want, I'm want. i wanting to look into buying an RV and travel. What's the pros and cons? I'm not going to cash out on one. It depends on what you want to do. If you want to be stationary or if you want to travel. Nowadays, the queens love the long hair. Right. Some wavy and some straight. To where you can curl them up also. Thank you, Robert Bird. Well, yeah, I'm, uh... I'm starting off with the body wave and the straight. Like, I am gonna do some, um... I am gonna do some loose... And maybe some deep wave. But y'all know the her thing is really not my thing. It's really the girl's thing. So I gotta really make sure I can hold my own with them. Oh my god, I don't know what that eyebrow they're even doing for real. Short and sassy. Bust down, middle part, straight. Okay. Short and sassy for the older clients. I like deep waves. The business will do great. The girls will have great clientele with their classmates. You can always get in one curl and get the body wave look right. But I just feel like the body wave curls better because it's body wave <sighs> like this other vendor I don't really this other vendor she was good But she didn't really get my attention like this last vendor. I'm going to tell you, the first vendor I, I ran into, because when you be on the look for vendors, baby, they be running up to you like, please pick me, please pick me, you know. But I like when I'm not being rushed. I like when I'm being offered samples to try and see if I like the quality of their product. Um, But this one lady that really caught my attention because... She was asking me, you know, about my packaging and my eyebrows is just gonna have to be dead because I ain't got time. I ain't got time. I, I I don't I don't know why. Why you wanna play me? I don't feel like playing with you. But um yeah, she was asking me about my packaging and things like that. And I honestly I hadn't even thought that far. And um she helped me with, you know, doing the little logo and also providing me all different things to go with the hair. Which I'm not saying that I'm going to stick with it. But for right now, with a person who doesn't have anything, I feel like that's great. So, let me show y'all. Alright, what colors we going to do today? Y'all pick some colors. I love loose and body wave. I love loose and body wave too. Y'all pick me some colors. If y'all don't like this palette, let's look at the other palette. Do y'all see something y'all like on this palette? I ain't wearing nothing. I ain't even going nowhere. We just having fun. Yesterday I did green. Yeah, the Bob girls, because it is summertime and everybody don't want that hot shit. Y'all pick some colors. Give me two to three colors.
nude. I like the pinks. I am going to the gym. Purple, blue. The purples are pretty. I had green yesterday. Purple. New pink, purple. Ooh, I like that. All right, I think we did pink purple last time. We'll do, we'll, we can do a pink purple. I'll put this stuff on there, wash this stuff right on back off. Um, But this lady here, let me show y'all her. She had a 30 inch straight. And I ended up getting a few from her. But I ain't gonna lie, she didn't really get my attention like the other ones did. And what I didn't like, I didn't like that she wasn't showing me the front of the wig. I'm like, can I see the front of the wig? It, it looks really good to be a 30. I said, can I see the front? And she sent me a video. Front. So, yeah. And it's all Asian. Y'all know they got that shit. <clears throat> but she um helped me with my logo. Like she helped me pick out my style of, of the bag I wanted. But I wind up going with this one. Cause I really like the color on this one. You said peach, red, and purple. That's pretty too. Yeah, so. That was like a huge plus for me. I'm just showing y'all because just in case y'all been thinking about getting into that business of selling hair and selling wigs, there's really ain't nothing to it but to do it. For real. Oh shit, where did it come from? Fuck. Oh my god. How did I even get that on there? I must have touched something. Why? I don't even know what that bro over there doing anymore. That motherfucker just long. That joint just long, bro. Real talk. It don't look shit like the other joint. It didn't lost all this arch. It's just straight. It's giving slim angry bird for real. I hate when I go through this. Now something to be wrong. Something to be the fuck wrong. Cause we constantly having to go back up here. Alright, man. Yeah, this this gonna get washed off. Definitely. I don't even know what this doing no more.
I need a pencil sharpener, bro. I need a pencil sharpener. And the eye that's always giving me problems want to be perfect today. Like, you funny. You funny. Oh, shit. You know I'm going to work my nerves, bro. You know, I don't even care. I'm going to wash the shit off anyway. I don't even care. Let me do the, the eyeshadow just because we can. I don't even care. No more. For real. Um. Yeah. What time is this after five? What we say? Purple, pink. Why am I going to do this? I love going to the gym. I like the way I feel afterwards. Like, I feel feeling so productive. I'm from Memphis. I be feeling so productive. Hey, Reavy. Get a knife to sharpen it. I texted you yesterday. Are you in Jackson? She got arrested? For what? Do I think about linking up with other YouTubers in my city? I don't really know no other. I don't know the other YouTubers. I was calling to check on you to make sure you are okay. What YouTubers y'all know that's big in my city in Memphis? Me, right. <laughs> Can you put it in there for me, nephew? Huh? Can you pull it in there for me? I already did. I don't know how to crank it. Okay, thank you. I'm finna come turn it on. I don't see why. I don't know. I think as I'm not. I think the reason why is because no, I never met K Michelle or Jessica Dom. I um never met Glow, but I did talk. I talk more to Gloss. When I first saw Glow, I didn't know Glow rapped. I just always saw Glow with Gloss because I knew they was best friends. But I didn't never just hang around Gloss because you know they they younger than me. I hung around a 
lot of the older rappers. Like right now, I anytime I have an issue or need like a stand-in or something with the music video, I um would call like Frasier Boy. Or like I was I was hanging around um like skinny pimp. Um I did a show with uh Project Pat in uh Nashville. Like I I was hanging around a lot of the older the older <laughs> rappers. Now, I want to say the only one I haven't met is Fly. Thank you, Queen. Okay, boom. Yeah, I ain't doing no damn music video because my video has been outside and it's raining. So... I mean, it's cool outside. Now, I think the main part that I'm working on is the blending. So what I'll do is I'll be putting the pink right here. I think how you see me doing, I'm putting the pink right here. And then I'll put purple on the other side. Like I have purple on this side, pink on this side, purple and the pink. Then I'll be adding the purple. Then I'll be adding the pink. And then I'll be adding the purple. Yeah, the pink. To try to get it to look like it's fading into each other. Purple, pink, purple, pink. And it works. See? Like, I don't be want you to be able to tell where the last color start and the next color begin. Like, I don't want it to, I don't like for it to have that line. Just rub the line until it's blended. I sure was like, I don't know how they be doing it. That's how I came up with it. The super scent with crayon case? No. I just got these from um Ulta. Which I heard is some really good decent palettes on Amazon. Like I paid a little over twenty dollars for these, but um I think you try adding some peach into it. That way it was cool too. <laughs> yeah. It came out good. 
All right, let's do our thing. Let's put our pink on one side, and our purple on one side. All right, let's add our pink. Let's add our purple. Add our pink. Then let's add our purple. Then it works, like it does what you said rub the line Can y'all hear me now? Still can't hear me. Anytime somebody call, it knocks my sound out. It's raining. No, and this right here is a face primer. And this is called um poreless face primer. I like the poreless face primer because it's like when you rub it across your face, it makes your skin smooth. Like it fills in any. Any, um, what am I trying to say? Like pores. I mean, I really like to run it across my scar because I feel like it helps the application on my scar looks smoother because my scar has a lot of um like dents and creases in it from the stitches all right so uh i need a color to go in the crease what color are we i think i need to add a little more pink though what color can we put into the crease Okay, this is confusing. I thought I had another brush I was using for powder. Blue. But if I put it next to the blue, it's going to turn purple when it touches the pink. Go.
Do you have a teal bling? Go. I see a lot of gold. A lot of gold. Or glitter. Alright, let's do a gold. Which one, though? Because it's like three golds. You got this one, this one, and this one. And that one pretty too. So one, two, or three. One, two, or three. All of them got a shimmer in it. One, two, or three. I see three. I see one. One and three. One. One or three. One. Okay, everybody see one. Now, I don't know how to really blend the shimmers. I really don't know how to blend these. Make sure I go back over with a little pink. Should we do the same method? Yeah, that look good. We're gonna put gold on one side, pink on another. okay it blended okay it still look kind of looking can y'all really see what y'all think y'all like I like I like we like we like oh my god I don't know yeah, it looks good. All right, let's add our foundation. I really like the lighter. Foundation. 
I got one foundation that's like a tad bit too light, and then I got one foundation like a tad bit too dark. And I just mix them to try to get the perfect color. So that's what we're doing. See? It's almost perfect. See? And when I put it on, you really can't tell I got nothing on. Because it goes with my skin color so well. So if you've been having a hard time finding the right foundation. And it's like. It's a tad bit too light or it's a tad bit too dark. Um, If you found those two that you stuck in between too light, too dark. Then um, mix them together. See, look at that. All them dark spots y'all was just looking at. Gone. Gone. And then, like I said, that poreless stuff really makes you go on. Really smooth. Now I gotta add just a little bit more. It was some little dark spots I had over there from when I had like some breakouts in the past. You know, for some reason, them dark spots just take their time with um, clearing up. But yeah, I noticed yesterday I was feeling really down. And I was like, I'm going to play in my makeup. And at the end of my application, I've, com I've completely forgot I was even mad. Yeah, I be all behind the ear on the neck and shit. I be trying to look the same. All over my hair. Oh, sorry, y'all. I be trying to make sure it's blended smoothly. Now we're going to take a little bit of the same foundation and just kind of like because I don't be one my own. Um, We want it to have a smooth transition look up here too. Like I only want it to look like I just abruptly stopped. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>
Well, I know you're not supposed to get your eyeshadow like too close to your eyebrow. So I'll be trying to make sure I do have like a gap. I don't know, that could just be like a me thing. You know, because this one's going to look. Even though these eyebrows do not match. Okay, this shit don't match. You know that. You know that. You know we ain't going nowhere. <laughs> For the lip, I don't never. I really hardly ever mess with my lip. We can mess with some lips today, cause we ain't going nowhere. I'm telling you, y'all. You want to? Get into the makeup thing. Just put in your makeup. Like, I really wake up. I really get up and I be looking forward to doing this. Like, just playing in my makeup. And I think my this pencil needs to be sharpened too. I really don't want to run this across the bottom of my eye. I really don't. Oh, I'm scared it's going to mess up some stuff. I ain't, I ain't got no liner. And then I found these liquid liners, y'all. I love so much. These liquid glitter liners. I'm going to tell y'all, these are so dope. I found these at the Beast Plus, though. For $2.99. Y'all, they work so well. Let me show y'all. Look. Like, you just want to go across that, your lid and let it dry. Look at that. And then once it dry, you can touch it and the glitter doesn't come off or anything. Like, I don't know if y'all can really see that. Like, look. It's real pretty. I can't use that now though because I got on gold. But I did get a black one. I don't know where the fuck is that. It's somewhere. What brand? Uh, Ruby Kisses. Yeah, this is Ruby Kiss. Like I said, I just got it at the beauty supply store. Well, I'm trying to wait for it to dry. Yeah, you can still coming off. But once it dries, you can touch it. Like when I first got it, I put it on my hand. I was touching it. Anything come off on my finger or anything. One thing I can say, when I get ready to wash this stuff off, I be having a hard time getting this eyeshadow off. So, like, if y'all been trying to figure out how to make it stay... I noticed that putting a concealer on the bottom and patting it in and all that and adding my little setting spray. It, um, yeah, Ruby Kisses. What was the length of your first camper? It was a 30 foot. What brand makeup and color? This is um, a brand called It. Um, I got the natural matte. Um, this is rich honey mixed with neutral rich. You see how they like one is slightly lighter and one is slightly darker. Like, I don't know if y'all can see the difference if the camera is doing it any justice, but one this one is darker and this one is lighter, and I mix them together. Like, sometimes. 
I may add like a tad bit more light than the dark or you know to like find that perfect shade because like like right now it's probably like a tad bit light but I like it all right let's add some concealer so we're gonna add which this concealer really isn't light enough but it's really not light enough but i don't know where the other one at and then i think by it not being so light it makes it kind of like a soft it kind of gives it a soft look It doesn't make it too dramatic. <laughs> Makeup has been your happy place for years. See, it just became my happy place. I didn't even know that this was a thing until now now i'm gonna tell you i bought some of that little bronzer stuff to go on the side but i ain't liked it i felt like it was doing i was doing too much I still don't know the purpose of me doing this shit right here. But I just do it because they do it on the YouTube video. Like I told y'all, anytime you think about doing anything or getting into anything, go on YouTube. You want to learn how to mess with her. You want to learn how to do your makeup. You want to learn how to change a part on a car. Go on YouTube. It's on there. Yeah, now it's dry. It should be dry. It don't come off. And we still shimmering. I never like makeup. Just lipstick and eyeliner, eyeshadow, and mascara. See, I never liked the eyeshadow. Because I always felt like I look like a clown. Fluffy blending brushes help blend edges. And then I never wanted to make makeup not make me look like myself. Like I just seen some motherfuckers on TikTok, man. Oh my God. If they take their makeup off, you don't even know who they are. I, I, that, I can't do that one. That's why I'm really scared to do too much. I'm trying to get that corner. What is that? Is that eyeshadow? I think there's some eyeshadow right there. Oh, it makes the final look prettier. I sure never knew why why we do that. I just did it. All right, let's just make sure because. One makeup lady, she was like, blend, 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 blend. 
So it's like I constantly do this to my foundation. I don't. I just want to make sure it looks like my skin. Like even though I know it's makeup, and I know we're wearing foundation and stuff, I still want it to look as natural as possible. Like I just really want a smooth look, like an even skin tone look. I really don't want to be looking too fucking different. Let's just say that. I don't. I want to not look like me. I don't want to meet somebody and then when I take it off, they like, "Who the fuck are you?" I, I just. I'm afraid of that. And then I be feeling like if I got too much on, it's nice not cake. Yeah, not casket. Yes, this this what I don't want. Cause I be watching some people, and I be like, damn, they still ain't done. Damn, what they doing now? Dang, they didn't add it. That let's add a little glitter though. I do feel like we should add a little glitter. Now this glitter here is more like some Vaseline, isn't it? I'm adding this little right here which I should have picked should I pick that one that one I don't know That's another thing. Why the hell we put that little piece down there? What that do? What that? What that little? <laughs> it does something. Okay, I believe it's. It's doing something. Okay. All right. It did, it did a, a final it's like a cherry I'm assuming I don't know but see now I'm sniffling every time I put on makeup I start sniffling why I think I'm allergic to makeup alright let's put some lashes on we're done with the palettes Let's put on some lashes. Now, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all what I did. I went around the house. Ain't no dig that good. The name of that song was called Nothing. That song is out everywhere. It's called Nothing. So, I went around the house and I found all of my eyelashes and put them in alcohol. Got the, um, got the, um, Oh, eyelash glue off of them. Washed them with some hand soap. Set them on the towel. As they dried, I got a spoolie and and, and brushed them. And um, y'all, I literally have a whole. It looked like I got a whole brand new pack of lashes i wish that was by me it looked like i got a whole brand new pack of lashes just for me taking all of my old lashes around the house and cleaning them out cleaning them washing them spooling them and letting them air dry 
So if you like me, take lashes and just set them motherfuckers everywhere. And then now here you is. Now you want to start being more responsible when you got down to your last. When you didn't got this right here. When you when you didn't got down to your last um two pairs. Now you want to be responsible and shit. Go around the house. I, I got like a little bowl. Put the alcohol because the alcohol. If you use the hair glue, because I use um hair bun glue, then it just makes it come off like butter. The alcohol. I'm gonna say hand soap, and then I take them when I dry them. I take them and I do them like this, and then I'll take the see this hand right here, God uh, thing. But as they're drying, I take the spoolie and I just brush through them as they dry. And then when I let them go, they look like this right here is a refurbished. <laughs> this is a refurbished eyelash. Y'all refurbish y'all shit. I'm going to find that pack and show y'all. Real talk. I didn't put my eyeliner on, did I? I don't think we're going to have eyeliner today. Because I ain't got no pencil sharpening. I ain't got time. Thank you, Tanya. You may be allergic to product in the shadows. No, because we just started wearing shadows like this month. I'm talking about we were sniffling. Oh, let's not. Let's not do this right now. Uh uh, because you're going to fuck up our glitter corner. Ah. Oh. Wow. Man, I keep on putting stuff over that window. Woods broke my window, y'all. He broke my window trying to fix it. And the damn thing just shattered. Oh no, I started losing like power in my truck. I was trying to find them lashes to show y'all, but I don't know what I'm doing. I think I gave them to Mark Kayla. But I really wanted to show y'all. Oh, there you go. Y'all, this pack, before I, before I went around the house, be, before I went around the house and started collecting all of my old eyelashes, this pack had... Two eyelashes in it. Look at these. And they all still got their curl pattern. All of them. Now I got the pearl on this one, two, three, four, five. I think these are the two free ones. So that's what? One. These two was already on here. But well, one, two, three, four, five. Now I got five fresh pair. And look how it look. Good. What did I put them on? I'm going to let y'all really get a good look at them. And when I first got them, baby. When I first... <laughs> when I first tried to bring them back to life. You would have... If you would have saw that, you would have been like, throw this shit away, Blaine. Throw this shit away. So I'm telling y'all, for the ones who got lashes... And they're just sitting on your dresser or just sitting in your little pack and you feel like they have ran their course. No, they have not. They are like a cat. Baby, they got nine lives. Oh, 
I don't know why that eye just want to play with me. But yeah, just do like I just showed y'all. Matter of fact, next time I do it, I'm going to go live so y'all can watch me. And I wore these yesterday too. So I can show y'all how to bring y'all old eyelashes back to life. Now, I like to take this and just go across my eyelid. Because I just feel like it helps my eyelid, my eyelash stick better. Oh, no. He will come back and get you when you dry. Come on, y'all. It's not. Hey, Teresa. What nail glue do you use? I use a uh, McCart. It's a nail glue that I get off of Amazon. M A K A R T. M A K A R T. Okay, look. I ain't got time. This eye over here is still watering, Jesus. I ain't got time. Now look at them lashes. Them lashes look brand new. Them lashes look brand new. And baby, these motherfuckers was on the side of the damn sink somewhere. She don't know. I found them everywhere. Some was on the side of the sink. Some was on the side of the bed. Some of them was on the table. Baby, I just got to grabbing all them joints and throwing them in a the bowl. Look at that. Look new. So I'm saying, y'all go get all of my lashes and collect them. Get that glue off of them. Go ahead and shampoo them. Spool it. And voila. And here you is thinking you need to have him buy you some because you constantly flipping them same two. Or the same one pair. Yeah, they look fresh. Mm-hmm. They look fresh. Baby, these things. Oh. Oh, oh. You just came on here. Queen, I thought you were gone. Now, I really would like to just wear me a nice little clear. A little new gloss. But I bought some lipsticks. And I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what it is. If I can find them right off the bat, we can play in them. But if I can't find them, whoever was waiting on the lip, I'm finna have to disappoint you. Cause
don't know what I did. I don't know what I did with them. Yep. It looks like I don't know. Yeah, I ain't lost it. I lost it, girl. Yep. Yeah, I lost it. I don't know. I don't know what I did with them. We'll have to play with lips another day. Yeah, another day. I had about like some um you have put it another day. I had about like some greens and some blues. I ain't gonna lie, all of them was um dark shades. I don't think I got any that would go with this eyeshadow look. Know what type of hairstyle this is this is just something i did like at first i had them hanging all in my face like i could easily take these braids down but i just wanted them See, I'm sniffling. <clears throat> Every time I do my makeup, I start sniffling. I need to learn how to wash these. But after getting into my makeup, I now have two different makeup boxes. I got one makeup box. Thanks, Queen. I got one makeup box that's strictly for just everything for the eye, from palettes to pencils to eyeliners. And then the other one is like my foundations, my primers, my contours. And I'm going to tell you another thing I don't wear. I don't wear blush. I don't know. It's like every time I think of blush, I think of my mama. But I did get this. <laughs> no, I'm ready to bite this junk. Don't what? Thanks, Toya. Thank you. But my nose keep running and my eyes keep running. I'm going to have to take a clarity before I do my makeup from now on. It's a lot of us that wear blush. Believe it or not. You said blush isn't for us. If you own this live and you wear blush and you are an African American woman, I want you to comment me. I'm finna show you how many black women wear blush. If you're an African American woman and you have to have your blush with your application, I want you to comment me. She's so wrong. She ain't know she right. Me. Like we got one me. Who else is an African American woman and have to have their bliss? You right, Bling. A lot of us do. Me. They go another me. Me. I wear blush. I gotta have it. There's three. Three. Four. No, three. We still have three. 
Now, with this blush, oh my God, Bring, have you ever, ever had a meet and greet? No, I want to. I'm just scared. Me, if you if you do your makeup correct. Which one of these do I wear? Am I supposed to apply number one or number two? Number one or number two? Blush me. I love blush. <laughs> one or two? One? We're going with one, not two. Me, we got another me. One, one. We got a lot of ones. Okay, Monica. Ones. Okay, it's like it's going to be one. So we're going to take this right here. And I believe it just. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I believe we are supposed to apply it here. I don't know. Are you... I'm sorry. I think they come from the. Uh... We go up here, right? Just a little. <laughs> okay. Let's let's take some of these sheets out. I don't know why I just want to just do that. <laughs> All right, what are we thinking? To blend the blush in. I'm not adding. I'm blending. Around. I'm officially team blush. Like whoever that just said I can't go without it, neither can I now. Neither can I. Is that made by this is made by the beauty supplies? Yeah, Nick Nika. Nick. Yeah. Oh my god. It really I'm I'm just saying, y'all, it really makes it look like 
I just did like a whole professional application. Like, it's doing it. Y'all see them cheeks? Y'all see that? Look, this. Yeah. Yeah, you see that? I like it. I really like it. Like, it's really making me just want to burst with Jolly. Like, eyeliner, please. I ain't got no pencil. Like, this blush makes me want to bounce with Jolly. Hang on. Somebody said, now y'all finna do overkill now. Nah, this motherfucker needs sharpen too. We ain't got no pencil sharpener too. Yes, we do. Damn. That blush look good. For y'all who been thinking about it and wasn't sure, there you go. Earl, don't come over here. I'm already sniffling that from you. I don't know. It's like this pencil sharpener got some. Some old eyeliner is stuck in it. Yeah. You hit the old eyeliner stuck in it. Is it? Why do I keep? How do I keep doing that? Getting it stuck in the pencil sharpener. How do I prevent it? Don't push it in too hard. All right. Thank you. That's the best I could do with the eyeliner because God, now I don't want to wash it off. It's the blush fault. Okay. We have eyeliner. Are you happy now? Oh my god. Like I'm really feeling myself. Like I do look a little lighter though. Maybe I need to mix my darker with my I look so damn white. I think I need to put that dark stuff around. The, you know how they take some dark and go around the... I feel like a clown now. <laughs> I feel like I'm too bright. It may be the ring light. Let's see if we change the color on the ring light. Will it change? Yeah, let's change that. Cause... Okay. Okay. All right. We 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 not looking too bad. We still look a little light. I think next time I do my foundation. I'm 
I'm going to go a tad, I'm going to add a little bit more of the darker color. Yeah. All right, y'all, we're done playing in makeup. It was really fun now. I hate we have to just watch it all. Bronzer. I got some bronzer, but I don't like it. I think I got some bronzer. Anyway, I'm going to tell you what I got. I got this. And this seemed like, let me turn my light back up. This seemed like a bronzer. Is it not? I don't like it though. Thanks. My viewers picked out the colors. Y'all going to La Fugati? VIP, huh? I would like to give me some gold liner though. Like I do like this at the bottom. Eyeliner should be at the bottom of the eye. Oh my god. Let's try. I used to do that all the time. Y'all can make me look like I'm now we now we headed to casket ready. Now we fit. Let me fix it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to black on the on the bottom though. Damn. Never mind. We ain't trying to shoot. The whole little black eyeliner fail. I don't even know where it went. Shit. No, I said we're heading towards Cascarita. When they say bling, add this. Now add this. Now add that. Yeah, we can do a meet and greet. We definitely can do it. We, we really overdo for a meet and greet. It came out again. Like, I'm losing all of the eyeliner in the pencil sharpener. Oh, well, I ain't getting no more pencils. I ain't getting no more pencils. I'm going to only do the kind you got to um, twist out. So this right here is nerve-wracking. You gonna let us watch you work out? Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to die sometime. I'm gonna be. Woo! does it look so far? <laughs> what y'all think? Y'all get with it or without it? I like it without it. <laughs> oh, no, I think I'm putting it on wrong. Oh, 
Open your eyes up more at the bottom. My nose. I feel like I could have put it down and needed it. That's enough, y'all. My damn sinuses can't take no more. <clears throat> I gotta go find me a curse. I don't know. I don't know. I think I could put it on neater than that. I don't like it. I don't like it. I think it's. I think it's. I think it's too much. I think it need to be neater than that. I think I looked it better without it. I think it's really giving me full clown, clowns, uh, <coughs> clown image now. It's not too much. It looks too much. I'm gonna ask the girls. But anyway, ah, her keep sticking to the thing. You like it? I don't like it. It looks like I'm um, trying too hard or something. I don't know. I'm gonna ask the girls what they think about the eyeliner on the bottom. Ah! And I need to find some Cetrazine or some Claritin. You like it? I don't like it. Girls, ah. Girl, shut up. Yeah, I got a headache. When y'all gonna start cleaning up in here? Oh, y'all wait now. How does eyeliner look on the bottom? And I could tell you didn't want me to go either. I don't like the eyeliner on the bottom. It gives, I don't know, it's, it's giving too much to me. Yeah, you see my eyeshadow? Yeah, but the eyeliner, I don't think I'm going to do that no more. I think if I do do it, I need to tone it down some to where it's a bit. Get your ass back in here. Yeah, I'm finna beat you. Why are you finna beat me? Because you outside playing basketball, you ain't did shit. What? I, I thought I just told you to go. Tell me. What you doing? I was, what's the car? I was in my room. Tell Cosby ass and I wash some dishes. I was doing a lot of things. They go to uh, Z Daniel, play basketball. They don't need to go no more. I'm up. I'll smack the shit at you. But, um. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the, that's the perfect word. This uh, eyeshadow is making me think of like lot lizards. Y'all know what a lot lizard is? A lot lizard. 
It made me feel like a lot lizard. <laughs> That's the perfect word. Lot lizard. Hey, Danny, you want to have a great time? <laughs> ah, right, getting home to shit. Look at the man, he gonna give you all his money. That's what this eyeliner do. This eyeliner make us get get checks and shit. Now, if this make me get a motherfucker check, oh, I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna wear eyeliner if I ain't got nothing else on. Yes, lot lizard. Self no tractors, trailer drivers. Don't say the ones that's getting lot lizards. Yeah, but I think I put it on wrong. Cause I'll be seeing people put it right on the inside of the eye. And this shit pretty much counted everywhere. Like it's I just don't like it. But anyway, let me go and find me some content to create. Maybe do some TikToks and excuse me, watch me some wig tutorials. So I can get these bundles and, and things to get which I ain't even said no bundles for real. Uh, yeah, that was I say I think I should I should have put it on the inside. Mine is more on the outside. It's giving lot lizard. I put it on wrong. If I would have went more on the inside, it probably wouldn't be giving a lot of lizard. It probably would been giving like more sophisticated, like a more sophisticated look. I wish I could just take this off without having to mess up the entire makeup look, but it's on there now. It's on, like, I really, 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 really don't like it. I think it's messing up my entire look. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, so I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos, some tutorials, probably keep organizing, um, packing down all of my winter clothes. That's what I'm doing, packing down all of my winter clothes. Um, I see my father is gone, so right now, if I want to go somewhere, I'm gonna have to get our Jonas to take me and her little hoopy. I hate getting in the car. Um, yeah, hitchhiking. Yeah, it, I, I need a thinner. It should have been, I should have went thinner and on the inside. Like, instead of it being on the inside, it's more like on the outside of the lid, not on the inside of the lid. And it's giving lot lizard. Yeah. Mm hmm. But tried it, so it's cool. We we can still do some videos with it. I still don't want to do no videos with it though. I wish I could just find me a Q-tip and try to get that off of there. Did you get your white off of Amazon too? I did. I did. I got a six pack of white. You a cute lizard. <laughs> Yes, I got white. Remember I told you I was going to do white because I feel like a lot of people don't really do this color. So, yeah, I really like the white. And it's white, white. Like, it's white. Yes, it's white, white. So, I, I really like the white. I really like the style <sighs> that I got my hair in. Like I said, I was just trying different. Yeah, that seemed a little bit too tight. Yeah, I'll make it more broad. Then I was thinking maybe I should have let some hang, some hang in my face. But and then I need to fix these right here. I hate that eyeliner. It's like the more I get it, the more, the more I just, I hate it so much. I hate the way I applied it. Let me say this. I hate the way I applied it. 
And I need some medicine. And I need some medicine bad. Cause I'm tired of sniffling. It's like the sniffling. I'm tired of doing it. Very uncomfortable. Uh. Uh. I'm mad because I did my hair. I used 18 inch bow and then it got nappy. Can I buy some of the color packs from you? Yeah, I mean, yeah, or I can just give you the links because you know what? I am buying like six packs and I'm only using two and three out the pack. So just like now, I only use two to three. Like this whole hairstyle, I got one, what? One, two, three three four i got five locks in my head and i still got five packs like i still got five packs this is some prescribed cetrazine So yeah, I mean you. I can give you the link for you to go on Amazon too. This shit ain't even coming out, bro. <laughs> yeah, I can give you the links for you to go on Amazon. I go for my surgery in June. Yep. Yeah. What song am I about to do content to? I don't know. I ain't gonna pick one. This shit is not coming out, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's not coming out. It's not. not coming off bro I ain't gonna got these things for shit your daughter hair off Amazon be trash that's all I buy is my locks off Amazon I just hate this eyeliner so much okay we're gonna talking about it <laughs> it is what it is fuck it we here now but um yeah wipe it lightly rolling upwards i'm doing it rolling upwards Shit, there ain't shit on here. Do you see anything on here? Do you? You see a speck. Mm. I ain't gonna worry about y'all. I'm just gonna have to rock this shit. It just... I ain't, I'm just gonna have to rock it. I just gotta rock it. It is what it is. It's fine. I just wanna stop sniffling. That's what's driving me crazy. The constant... I'm, t I'm tired of doing it. I'm ready for this medicine to go and kick in. Yes, it's set. Let me tell y'all what pencil this is. So y'all can know for the ones who need some eyeliner to do this. I think that pencil came from Il Makiage. Il Makiage. Eyeliner. 
So y'all need some eyeliner that ain't gonna move. That is the one. You'll make it odd. Well, I got a headache now. Yeah, but I don't want to mess up all my other stuff I got going on. Ugh, I'm using uh, what is that called? <laughs> Thanks, Tanya. I like my blush though. I still like my blush. Like the blush is new, but it's here to stay. The blush is here to stay, baby. Whatever this is, I'm. I need to know exactly what color this is. So, for the ones who do wear blush, do y'all always wear the same color every time? Yeah, little old me been finished. It's a whole video to little old me on here. It's called um meet. It's called meeting me. I think I. I think that's what I called it. You don't use the same color. Robin does use the same color. I think I found my perfect color. I don't need a different color. That blush just did it though. Like I really, 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 really like it. Really like it. Or like probably overly like it. But I do not like that eyeliner at all. I think I just don't like the way I put it on. And I'll be happy when I stop sniffing. Put me... I need some help to help me put on makeup. Never wore... Y'all be looking beautiful. I never really wore makeup like that. I'm practicing. Like, right now, I'm not going anywhere. You just have to play in it. That's what I've been doing. Like, I look forward... To playing, I match my blush shade to my eyeshadow or clothing. Warm or cool brush. I own several shades. See, I don't, I don't know all that yet. What type of foundation? You could go into Ulta or just go into Macy's and just get 